Okay, so join Amazon Kindle. Go ahead to create an account from the scratch. Create. Okay, so a OTP code was sent to that email. Oh, okay. Copy the code. That's the first step to opening a KDP account. You don't have any option. You must agree to the terms and conditions anyways. Now, once you are done with that, the next thing is it will allow you to go ahead to start creating your book. But you cannot, if you go ahead, so you can click create to start creating your book. But besides that, you still there are certain things you need to do. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. You need to update account information. I guess you would have seen this on your page. To publish a book, you will need to complete this. So, so we'll click update now so that we can go there. But if not, besides that, from here you can actually start publishing. If you click create, then you can start publishing your first book. But even when you publish your first book, you need there's a software that is required to format your book in, in a KDP format. They, they have a, a KDP format for books. But let's click update now first to see how we can update that account. You are supposed to put a phone number to verify your account. Internal error. This account actually, that number is actually linked to my existing number. But basically, once you pass this place, you that's where you see where you put the tax information and all of that. I was trying to trying to log into my existing account. It did not. It did not send OTP. That's why I said, okay, let me start with a fresh account to show you how to go about it. But this is my existing account on Amazon KDP. So some of the titles I have here. This book, this book, and then that's the this one. I'm yet to complete that work. Once you put your phone number, after you put your phone number, it will take you to the account section. You can now put all those tax information. So from that place, you will you once you are done with that address verification tax information, when you want to upload your book, you just you come back to this place to play to, to uh, click on create. Okay, now so basically. You have to specify i don't i don't if you want to if you have a cover design already first of all start with let's do the ebook first so you click create ebook when we are done with the ebook before we now start creating paperback and hardcover for that the price will always differ this is for if the book is going to be in series so let's do create ebook okay so because there are a lot of information you will need here it's a very long long form so basically i won't even go through once you are done with this you can actually complete this once once it is approved you now will do uh, this is for the ebook contents there's hard cover okay no okay no no not yet sorry okay so language is english book title if there's a subtitle you put is it a series that maybe we have another edition if not if this first edition put edition author you put author if the other contributors put their names here description um that's like your preface and all of that just put some um, all the necessary details i own the copyrights to this book so you own the copyright explicit materials yes or no you put all of that um reading reading age there's a age restriction you put that primary market is amazon.com uh, categories yes you can use this to specify the category of your book what i'll suggest is go online do amazon.com and put the title of the book then you will see other publishers in this same genre the category it is so you know the category you don't fall under with that children book and all of that so you will know the category maybe i should even click let's see the categories that are available and i don't want this video to be too long so but that's it yeah, from there keywords keywords what you do is do a google search of the topic let me even show you let's say the book is so that you will know the keywords to use that will be relevant because that's what will make the book to come out during search let's see how to bring how to teach okay let's say how to teach babies to to sit to sit 
So look at these are relevant keywords. You see, as I've done how to seed babies to seeds, these are what people are searching for, and you can use them as keywords because it will be what will help the book to rank. How to teach babies to sit up from lying down, how to teach babies to sit up on their own, how to teach babies to sit up on their uh, on their own, how to teach babies to sit up simple you can leave down how to teach an infant to sit this is good so let me even click it i want to see other options okay so you will get this look at questions when i start teaching my baby to sit when can i start teaching you can have this in the description for instance so as you write the screen it's okay sometimes people ask questions when can i start teaching my baby to sit can i put my three months old baby in a sitting position you can put all these questions in the description it helps to make your article rank let me also okay so these are other things you want other search four months old baby sitting position it can be in part of there are seven keywords so the the most important ones that are relevant to the book what is in the book pick those ones and put there then the others you sprinkle them into the description it's very helpful look at more here they will help your book to rank because these are the things people are searching for so when you have it in your book it helps your book to rank that's what we uh, mean when we talk about seo okay after q i am ready to release my book now make my kindle ebook available for pre-order that depends on you if you want to do that so you save and you continue i can't continue because i've not completed i've not um i didn't feel this one but you save and you continue the next page is what will bring you to this so we have done keep kind of wants to do that that's kindle ebook details you now go to kindle ebook content so it just is basically the information that relates to your work you just be putting the content that's where you put uh, sorry the content that's where you will need to use that software i was talking about so you it is in this second place where you have content you are going to upload the cover design it's there you're also going to upload um the inside the inside page all of that that's where you upload them so by the time you are done then you will now come to kibu kibu pricing you will just see the prices there one dollar or you see the format how to do the pricing so you put the price you want and you would have concluded that aspect but i think at that point they will tell you at when you are on content they will tell you to download the software because you have to upload the ebook to that software so that it will, you will see how it will look like in in computer how it will look like in um whether computer or any device to show you how everything will look like so that's basically how it works for uh, uploading contents to uh, to amazon kdp okay that's that's all for now if you have any questions you can ask i will respond to them thank you so basic thing is like i said before click that uh, your accounts the way they will say you should update it if you see that click it it will take you to that page for you to update it if not if you don't see that place then click your account it will take you there you put your otp once you put the otp and you pass then you go and fill out the tax information once you are done with that then you come i can open it because i've already done all of that and i have books here so i just clicked to create another book i have three books they want to the third one is in draft is, is still in draft so but the three of them are there intend doing more books by god's grace i'm going to do a video actually on amazon kdp very soon but thank you